For example, let's head on up to uh, head on down to Fort Myers. Arnie's calling in from Fort Myers. Arnie, go ahead. Yeah. Hey, what are you guys doing? Hey, uh, I got this. Uh, I bought this Astro van, and I, I noticed that there is a diode, a little mini diode in the uh, engine fuse box, and uh, my battery kept running down. So I, I took it out, and now the battery doesn't run down. Uh, is that okay to keep that diode out, Larry? Well, it, that's not actually um, a, a diode, uh, Arnie. That what I think what you're talking about is one of the micro relays. Um, does it? Did it just pull out? Yeah, yeah, it's right, it's right in the fuse box, engine fuse box. It looks just like a mini fuse. But it's not clear. It's all black, and it has a, you know, the the diode insignia on top of it. Right? Okay. Yeah. 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 That must be a diode then. Um, well, yes. they. Uh, all right. See, they'll put those in there. Uh, they're one-way diodes. Uh, they'll only allow voltage to travel one direction. Um, if they go bad, uh, something can actually pull the voltage out of the out of the battery uh, you know so so removing it <laughs> really should have made matters worse if you had a problem with the battery going dead on you um, but you after you pulled that out you don't, you don't have any battery draw nothing's pulling the juice out of the battery overnight and when I had it in there the battery was losing juice now it's out, and it's okay, and also I don't have to uh, shut off my daylight running lights anymore. <laughs> There's a little, uh, sometimes you have to press it, you know, shut your daylight. So I don't even have to do that anymore, so that's kind of nice. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I wonder if it's, nothing else seems to be the problem in, in, in the, uh, I couldn't find anything in the Haynes manual. <laughs> yeah. Arnie, now, listen, are you sure that the alternator's charging okay? Oh, oh yeah, I did. I, I took a, a multimeter, and, and I tested everything. It, 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 nothing seems to be drawing. It just stacks right up, and uh, yeah, and and it's actually doing like fourteen to fifteen. Uh, 15 okay, volts. all right. Yeah. I know which I know which diode you're talking about. Let me let me tell you what that diode does. That diode, yeah. It, see what it does is is when what they what they they've got that in there to prevent you from getting voltage back feed back in to the um, fuse and relay center because what will happen is you'll turn the vehicle off mm -hmm. and it'll keep running. You'll shut the vehicle off. To me. Yeah, when you shut the vehicle off, if that diode's not in there, you'll shut the vehicle off and see what would happen is it would because that just what it what it's doing is it actually blocking voltage from backfeeding into it from the alternator is what it's doing. See that that prevents because it will it will keep all the relays uh, you know excited and that's why they put that mm -hmm. in there and with it out. You know, if you're not having any problems with it, Arnie, I don't guess I'd no. tell you to worry about it. But there's something, there's something yeah. else going on, and most likely, yeah. most likely, what what is what is happening is there's probably something. If you were to take that fuse and relay center apart, and and literally okay. snap it apart and look inside of it, you're probably hmm. going to find something that got cooked in there. Most likely, there's something really? that's been overheated. Yeah, huh. we we have to hunt those things down and replace them all the time over all kinds of issues. Usually, yeah. usually battery drains is, is usually what we wind up replacing them for. But you know, by pulling mm. that diode out of there, I'm sitting here going, that's kind of a safety feature to keep the alternator from back feeding back into it after you shut the vehicle off. See, when you turn the vehicle off, the engine's still actually moving a little bit. And what they, when you shut it off, they don't want that alternator's remaining charge okay. going back into that fuse box to to keep it excited. Mm. Because if it does, it'll keep everything else up and running, and you may not even be able to shut the motor off. Because it would keep the engine would keep running, and 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 we've seen that happen a many a time 
over those. Okay. So okay. in this case here, yeah. the only thing I can tell you, Arnie, is if it ain't burning any wires and the alternator's yeah. charging and you yeah. can shut it off yeah. and everything is working, just just yeah. keep your eyes open. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah. just keep it. Just keep your eyes open. Most likely, from what I've ran into, um, you know, the, there's there's three things that is real common to run a battery down. One of them is an alternator. Mm -hmm. An alternator has a okay. one way diode inside of it itself, and that's to prevent yeah. it from pulling voltage back out of the battery. Um, your fuse and relay center. Uh, you know, those micro relays will go bad and they'll keep uh, pulling voltage out of, uh, you know, out of the battery if okay. they go bad. And then an instrument cluster. Mm. Instrument clusters will, are, are notorious yeah. for causing battery drains like that. Um, so I would say if you pulled that out of that uh, fuse and relay center and the problem seemed to have went away, I'd say on the inside of that, something has probably been overheated at one point, and maybe there's some wires that got melted or something like that. But if it's not causing you any problem, well, as they say in the Star Wars, may the Force be with you, Arnie. <laughs> we appreciate your calling, and good luck. Good luck to you, sir.